Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be working through another example problems regarding the isolated footings. And we have to determine the factor of safety against overturning and sliding. So let's dive into the problem. The problem, uh, the concrete footing depicted below support a load from a pre-engineered steel building column. Assume that the footing remains rigid relative to the surrounding soil. The soil has a density of 110 pounds per cubic foot, while the concrete has a density of 150 pounds per cubic foot. The coefficient of friction between the soil and the footing is mu is equal to 0.5. So we are required to determine the factor of safety against overturning and sliding at the base of the footing. So as you can see here, in the profile of our uh, foundation, this is the sections, typical uh, sections of the foundation. And you, you, can, uh, you will see these types of foundation in a pre-engineered steel buildings, where the steel builders will provide us all the load combinations to, decide, uh, to design the size of the footings. So at the top of the pedestal, if you can see here, the pedestal is 16 by in 16 inches. Uh, on top of the pedestal, we have the base plate here, where they are going to put the uh, steel columns here. And that is the typical uh, arrange, uh, setup of the steel columns. So our footing on this problem is given by 9 feet by 9 feet with a depth of 1.5 feet. The height of the pedestal is 4.4 uh, feet. Sorry. Now, uh, let's proceed to the solution. First of all, we need to determine the overturning moment. So the overturning moment, moment for this particular problem is only we have 35 kips, the lateral loads from the column reactions. So we will we will uh, establish the two at this point because due to this lateral uh, load, this will tend the foundation to overturn in a clockwise uh, direction. So the overturning moment is 35 kips times the uh, lever arms, which is 5.5 kips. So 4 plus 1.5, that is 5.5, is equal to 192.5 kips feet. Now, we will determine now the uh, vertical loads due to the soil, pedestal, foundations, and the vertical reaction of the columns. So we have here determined resisting load R. So first, uh, vertical columns is 65 kips, which is that one. The next one is the footing. For the footing, we have 9, nine feet by 9 feet times 1.5 is the volume times the density of concrete 150 pounds per cubic foot is equal to 18,225 pounds or 18.23 uh, kips and that is for the footing so for pedestal we have 16 inches by 16 inches times 144 and we will just convert it into feet to be consistent with our units times 4 feet times 150 density of concrete and that would give us 1066.7 pounds or 1.07 kips so that is for pedestal so the last one is the over uh, the weight of the soil above on the footing so the soil is that we need to account is at this from this point to that point which is nine feet so 9 feet times 9 feet minus 1.3 times 1.3. So we deduct the area covered by the pedestal because we have accounted that already here. Then the, the net weight of uh, soil is times 4 times the density of soil, 110 pounds per cubic foot. And that would give us 34,000. 896.4 pounds which is equal to 34.9 kips then the total vertical resisting loads are this is all down downward loads 
due to the column loads, soil, pedestal, and the footing. So the total is 65 kips from the columns, 18.23 from the footing, plus 1.07 from the pedestal, and 34.9 kips from the overburden soil. So the total is 119.2 kips. That is for the vertical resisting load R. The next one is to, to determine the resisting moment. So the resisting moment is the uh, resisting load times the labor arm. So what is our uh, total resisting load? That is 119.2 times the 9 feet over 2. Because the center line of putting to the 2 is 4.5, half of the length of the footings. So we have 536.5 kips feet. Okay. So now we will proceed to find the safety factor against overturning. So for overturning, we have the uh, RM over OM. So RM 536.4 kips feet over 192.5 kips feet. So we have uh, determined this earlier is equal to 2.79. So that is our factor of safety against uh, overturning, which is greater than 1.5. Normally 1.5 or 2, and that's good enough. So we are okay for overturning. Now, the next one is to find a factor of safety against the sliding. The sliding, actually, this is very important because if the lateral is big enough, there's a tendency of foundation to slide, not actually uh, uh, slide uh, perfectly, perfectly move in the left side, but sometimes it in the actual actually it will move, you know, side side sideways. Um, there was a misalignment of column because of that movement. So we need to determine the factor of safety against overturning, and the formula is uh, equal to F over its F is the frictional force, which is always against to the lateral uh, load. So our uh, frictional uh, force here at the base of the footing is opposite to the direction of 35 kips. So now we will calculate the what is that uh, frictional resisting force. The frictional resisting force at the base of footing is F is equal to mu R. Mu R is the coefficient of friction between concrete and the soil. So we are given that 0.5 times the uh, R, which is the total uh, resisting load. So it's equal to 0.5 times 119.2 is what would give us 59.6 kips. So the lateral loads of the uh, primary columns is 35 kips. We have that already. So we will just divide that one. So factor of safety against sliding is F over H. So 59.6 kips divided by 35 kips. And that would give us 1.7, which is greater than 1.5. So we are okay for the sliding factor of safety. So I think uh, that's all, guys. And that concludes our solution to this uh, problem. So please, uh, if you have any comments, please uh, comments down below. And thank you for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like or subscribe. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.